Hello everyone. I'm going to show you a quick video to try to help demonstrate better the idea of concentrations. We've talked about concentrations involve solutes and solvents. Solutes are particles suspended in solution. They could be anything like an ion, sodium, potassium, calcium. It could be a molecule such as glucose. The solvent is the fluid that solutes are suspended in. And generally speaking, within human physiology, the solvent is almost always or nearly always water. But today we're gonna to use a bit different example. We're going to use milk as our solvent, okay? So I'm gonna put this milk over here. We don't need that for now. Milk is going to be our solvent and Ovaltine is going to be our solute. So Ovaltine is composed of granules of chocolate. And I like this a little bit better than Nestle's Quick because these granules are a little bit bigger and thicker, but it doesn't really matter. It's the same idea. The milk is going to function as our solvent. So if we take in glass number one, which is right here, let's do this again. Glass number one here, this is glass number two right here. So the first glass, I'm gonna take one scoop of Ovaltine. Let's see how we do this here. I'm gonna dump that in there. Mix that up. Keep in mind that the solvents here, that is the milk, are the same volumes here. And we're not completely concerned with volumes, we're concerned with the ratio of solutes to the solvent. So that first glass had one scoop of Ovaltine. This second glass, I am going to put three scoops of Ovaltine. Same volume of solvent or milk. And just for fun, I'm gonna put two more because I wanna make this as dark as I can so we can see that it's darker than the first glass. So hopefully you can see that one glass is lighter in color and this is dark. And this is dark because it has a higher concentration of solutes. Same volume of milk in both, but it's a higher concentration of solutes. So we can increase the solute concentration by adding more solutes. But I wanna show you another way to increase solute concentration. I'm gonna take this glass away and I'm gonna bring this glass in here. So we still have this first glass, which had one scoop of Ovaltine. This second glass now has a much lower volume of water, but we're gonna add the same amount of solutes. One scoop to this. Now I don't see, know how well you can see that on the camera, but this second one, while it has the same amount of solutes, it has a greater concentration of solutes because there's a lower volume of these solvents. So here, same amount of solutes, but a greater concentration in this glass versus this glass. So I hope that makes sense. When we're talking about solute concentrations, we're talking about the ratio of solutes to the solvents. Okay, thanks for listening, and we'll continue tomorrow.